I'm about to install a 26 kilowatt solar system on my roof. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, the efficiency of this, these new solar panels is amazing. I'm gonna get so much power to charge my EV from these solar panels, it's gonna be awesome. And oh, I'm getting all excited about this guys, right? And then I see this, this article here. And you know, maybe in 10 or 20 years time, solar panels will, you know, so past tense, they'll be old school because this new company, this new technology company in New York believes it's found, well, it's now producing these little solar balls. Well, these things are the future potentially. I mean, they really are unbelievable when it comes to harnessing energy from the sun. They kind of look, make solar panels look like old technology, even though it's, it's not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Well, not a new technology. This company has been around for a while now. They're based in New York and they've unveiled tiny spheres that outperform solar panels significantly using both sun and even artificial light. So we always have artificial light. Like right now in this room, I've got artificial light. It's being wasted. You could put these little spheres in this room and you could harness a lot of that energy. So basically the majority of the energy, you, a lot of that energy that I'm using now, right now to power these lights here, I could actually get back. A little bit like having an electric car, right? That actually has the ability to recharge the battery when you brake. So regen braking, it's almost like that concept. Solar panels may be replaced by light catching spheres if Innovation company WAVJA or W-A-V-J-A's ingenious contraptions actually do what the company says they can do. This business, which has operations in New York City, says its experts have created tiny globes from a little more than an inch to nearly four inches in size that harness both sunlight and artificial light to make electricity. Called a photon energy system, the technology uses multiple layers of cutting edge materials in specialized spheres, according to its executive president, Shireen Chen, who outlined a list of performance metrics in the video. So what are these performance metrics? Well, for starters, each one of the spheres has a specification that's m many times better than traditional solar panels. And that's why people are looking at these and thinking, you know, think to themselves, could these replace solar panels? It's very possible they could. Would it happen in the next few years? No, but it could happen, you know, within 10 to 20 years time, we could be looking back and saying, remember when we used to use solar panels? Well, the spheres resemble, um, kind of resemble the Death Star from Star Wars. Um, anyhow, they are 30 times smaller than a solar panel with 75 times the power output. 30 times smaller, but they have 7.5 times the output. So that means they are 200 times more efficient than solar panels. I mean, this is blowing my mind. If this is true, then nuclear energy is doomed. I mean, the truth is you wanna build a nuclear power plant if you decided today or next year, it's gonna take you at least 10 years to get that plant built. By that time, these things are gonna possibly be proliferating everywhere. I mean, they could be. I mean, if these claims are true, they have to be. This technology has to be the next the next new thing. I mean, the thing that replaces everything else, because honestly, that kind of efficiency, 200 times the output of solar panels, means that um, this is the most revolutionary product in the history of mankind. I mean, I don't think, I can't think of anything else that would, would be anywhere near as revolutionary as these, these spheres. Now, of course, this is still unknown. Anyhow, the company said this, these revolutionize how we harness sunlight. Four spheres in the video are shown sitting atop a square-shaped device, possibly part of the system that converts light to electricity. I'm not sure. Typically, there's no external battery connection involved. So it's sort of like, um, apparently, a separate battery system, said Chen, one of the engineers. Now, I don't really know how that works, but hopefully I'll find out soon. In the example scenario, the spheres are shown powering a battery and Chen later notes that the power pack can be connected to the system in various ways compared to solar panels. So it sounds to me like you would say potentially connected to a battery at your home or they'd be used like a solar panel. Throughout the video, LED lights are used to energize the setup. So they're showing how you can actually charge um, or get energy from the LED lights using the spheres. Here's the big game-changing reason, the reason this technology is so insane. 
solar panels are limited in some degree because we you know we can't use them when it's not sunny or when there's no i mean it doesn't have to be sunny but when it's not the daytime they don't get any power but these spheres apparently can provide energy 24 hours a day regardless of weather conditions so for example you can have these inside houses inside buildings on streets where there's street lamps anywhere there's light they can collect energy or electricity very efficiently one concept closer to reality is a vehicle being tested to run on a package of 20 spheres so this sounds so insane i don't even i don't understand how this technology works but i mean imagine covering putting 20 of these spheres on the outside of your car and they harness so much energy from the sun that you can potentially just drive forever that's what the company is saying you are actually looking at real-time current, he says, proof of concept that we are working on. Now, guys, if this is a scam, then wow, what a great job this company are doing. But it sounds legit. Now, the company says it is now working on its third-generation spheres, which they say are 60 times more powerful than a similarly-sized solar panel. Yeah, our commitment to innovation drives us to create transformative solutions, says the company. And yeah, they'd be right. This would transform the entire planet, no question. The company cites planet warming fueled extreme weather, forest fires, and other calamities as its inspiration for coming up with these spheres. Its designers even have a proposed fire extinguishing drone powered by spheres that will patrol forests for extended periods of time and extinguish fires quickly upon discovering them. Guys, solar efficiency continues to increase every single year, and companies are breaking their own solar records, their own solar efficiency records every year. But we're talking pretty small percentage changes. We're talking like half a percent per year. All of that is amazing, and it's changing the world, but this takes it to an entirely new level. Now, apparently a team in Japan is working on a flexible sun catching material that can survive a run through a washing machine, uh, meaning it could cover clothes and cars and all kinds of things. But the only thing is, we don't know yet if this technology is uh, commercially viable. There's really no proof. No one's selling them yet. The company isn't selling them yet. Are they? How much does it cost to man manufacture them? Do they need gold? Do they need um, you know, expensive materials? Do they need titanium or something? We don't know exactly what they're manufactured with. And until they become commercially viable, this product is simply, um, basically exists only in our imaginations, but it could be real. I sure as hell hope it is. What do you think? Is this legit? What do you reckon? Thanks for watching.